Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Boy, has he got some criticism for Prime Minister Netanyahu calling for a new election. Even had the courage to call out Smotrich, Ben Gavir, uh, these radical right wingers in the uh, Netanyahu's cabinet there. Standing in the way for peace, standing in the way for being able to bring about some normalcy in Israel there. Let's listen in to uh, Senator uh, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer since 2021 and his comments on Prime Minister Netanyahu and the job that he's doing there in the Middle East. To demand that Israel conduct itself with a future two-state solution in mind. We should not be forced into a position of unequivocally supporting the actions of an Israeli government that include bigots who reject the idea of a Palestinian state. Israel is a democracy. Five months into this conflict, it is clear that Israelis need to take stock of the situation and ask, must we change course? At this critical juncture, I believe a new election is the only way to allow for a healthy and open decision-making process about the future of Israel. At a time when so many Israelis have lost their confidence in the vision and direction of their government. I also believe a majority of the Israeli public will recognize the need for change. And I believe that holding a new election, once the war starts to wind down, would give Israelis an opportunity to express their vision for the post-war future. Of course, the United States cannot dictate the outcome of an, of an election, nor should we try. That is for the Israeli public to decide, a public that I believe understands better than anybody that Israel cannot hope to succeed as a pariah opposed by the rest of the world. You know, he is the highest ranking government official to come out and condemn Netanyahu's coalition uh, for the war in Gaza. And I, I tell you, you know, <laughs> I'm sure many people take issue with him because he's Democrat or whatever, but uh, he is Jewish himself. Uh, and uh, for him to make that bold of a statement, well, you can rest assured one thing, he won't be in politics much longer. But uh, God bless his heart for making the stand. That's my thoughts on uh, this issue there uh, when I look at it. Uh, South Africa vowing to arrest dual citizens who serve in the Israeli military. Will other countries follow suit there? AOL reporting this. Says South Africa's threat to arrest its own citizens who serve in the Israel Defense Forces is raising legal, moral, strategic questions for militaries that rely heavily on foreign-born troops to fill its ranks. What effect will the decision have on the IDF's readiness amid the Israel-Hamas war? Could South Africa's move create a chilling effect that would dissuade people from taking the risk of serving? Well, for one... Yeah, South Africa may have the courage to do it, but I highly doubt any other nation's going to because nations are bought and paid for. And unfortunately, that's the truth of that reality. Uh, looks like that uh, the, the uh, defense minister of, uh, of the UK there got a little, Mr. Shapps, that is, defense secretary uh, of the Royal Air Force there, got a wake-up call from Russia flying over to Poland. I think Poland tried to send a subliminal message by jamming the GPS system on his plane, uh, both to and from uh, the region there. Of course, the plane flew near the Kalingrad area, uh, and Russia did take the time to jam his GPS system on their return flight. They were jammed for up for a half an hour. And, uh, and even and even jam their Wi-Fi connections. I think Russia is sending a clear message, you know, you better stay out of Poland. You better not bring Poland over here to start another war. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We're going to be starting here in just a little bit over here on our, on our uh, Zoom call that we're going to do. A uh, little teaching call there I've been working on. So 
Uh, won't be able to go too long on the broadcast tonight. Uh, everybody's been sick in the family there, and, and, and I, I kind of feel it trying to catch up with me as well. But I want to make sure I try to keep that promise to be there with you. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your support of the broadcast, and have a great evening.